Welcome to ACO Tips and Tricks with Greg the Phone Guy. Our goal is to help you get the most out of your Avaya Cloud Office service. In this tutorial, we will cover using the Avaya Cloud Phone with Avaya Cloud Office by Ring Central. Open the Avaya Cloud Phone, select Sign In, select the email icon, enter your email address and password. Select Stay Signed In if you would like the app to keep you logged in, and select Sign In. To answer a call, select the green call icon. To send the caller to voicemail, select the red to voicemail icon. To screen the call, press the drop down under the voicemail icon and select screen voicemail. This will allow you to hear the message being left. To answer the call, select pickup. To stop listening, select the red stop listening icon. To place a call, enter the name or number in the to field and press enter or select the green call icon. To call someone in your contact list, select the contacts icon and search the contact list. Select the contact and select the call icon. To transfer a call, select the HUD icon. The HUD allows you to see the status of other users. Hover over the user you would like to transfer the call to and select the transfer icon. Select warm transfer to announce the transfer blind transfer to send an unannounced transfer, or to voicemail to transfer the caller directly to the user's mailbox. To park a call, select the park icon and select the park location. This call will now be visible in the HUD of all users. To pick up a parked call, select the HUD icon, hover over the park location, and select Pickup. To mute a call, select the mute icon. Select the icon again to unmute the call. To place a call on hold, select the hold icon. Select the icon again to return to the call. Select the keypad icon to access the keypad for dialing digits. Select the hide keypad to return to the call. Select the record icon to record the call. A warning message will be played that the call is being recorded. Select the icon again to stop the recording. The recording will then be deposited in your voicemail box. Select the audio icon and switch audio source to change the audio settings. This will redirect you to the sound settings covered earlier in this video. Select the add icon to conference in another caller. Enter the number you would like to call and select the green call icon to place the call. If the caller would like to be added to the conference, select the green plus icon. If they do not wish to be added to the conference, select the red end call icon, and then the hold icon to return to the original caller. Select the flip icon to transfer the call to your J100 series desk phone or mobile application. To check your call logs, select the call log icon. You can select from all, missed, or recordings. Select the info icon to see details about the caller. Select the add contacts icon to add the caller to your contacts list. Select the back icon to return to the message. To view your contacts, select the contacts icon and search for the contact. Select the filter icon to select all contacts, company, or personal. Select a contact and select the call icon to place a call, the text icon to place a text, the fax icon to send a fax, or the email address to send an email. Select the back icon to return to the contacts list. Select the compose text icon, enter a number, type a message, and select the send icon to send a text message. Select the close icon to return to the previous screen. To start an audio conference bridge, select the start conference icon. Your conference bridge details will be displayed. You can select to send invites in a text or email. Deselect join before host. 
This will leave all callers on hold until you join the conference. Select the green Start Conference icon. Select the red End Call icon to close the conference bridge. Select the Desktop App icon to download or open the Desktop App. The Desktop App includes collaboration and video conferencing capabilities. We will have a video on the Avaya Cloud Desktop App coming soon. Select the Settings icon to change the settings previously covered in this video. Thank you for watching this Avaya Cloud Phone tutorial.